Bonjour, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm introducing you to Dave. Dave passed his FE exam or FE civil exam in July 2021. He got his bachelor's degree in civil and environmental engineering in 2016. And he decided to take his FE because he wanted to get his PE license, which he actually took his PE in October. Dave, thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you for having me. Awesome. Uh, it's my pleasure. So in 2000, you actually uh, went to school and your major was business management and a little bit of construction management. And you studied for about two years and a half, but you didn't finish your, your degree. And then in 2016 or 12 years later, you decided to go back to school. I want to dive in into that a little bit. And I want to um, ask you, why engineering? Why did you choose to go back to school and study engineering? In my construction business, or not business, but construction career, I would, you know, run into engineering, and uh, engineers or just designers that were designing pretty interesting things. And I figured, well, maybe go into the engineering field and see what it's like. And I had no idea really what engineering was like and how involved math and science is in, in engineering, but really started liking it. Um, took the intro class in college, uh, the second time around in college when I declared the major and um, started doing the math classes and liking it more and more and, and uh, liked the problem solving and things like that. And so uh, stuck with it and and yeah, graduated in about four years. Awesome. I, I, I want to ask a little bit about, you know, like 12 years later, you went back to school right at that moment. You were in your 30s. You had three kids. You also owned a home. How did you do it? How did you balance like school and family and making sure that everything got paid for and all of that? Uh, well, my wife worked. Um, so... She really carried the family the whole time uh, that we were that I was in school. Um, I of course tried to help however I could with my part time work and and things and but uh, so yeah, a lot of help and just time management. You don't you don't watch as much TV. <laughs> I, right. uh, I I did miss out on a lot of of uh, family activities and things. Um, uh, weekends are not just work and they're, they're homework weekends. And so you got to make up for uh, assignments that you're, that you're behind on or whatever. Um, so um, try to limit your sleep to just what you need, not more than you need, <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's a lot of work, but it's a lot of, it was a lot of fun, you know, being a dad and also a husband and father or uh, student as well so yeah so let's dive in now into the FE so when you started studying for the FE exam what would you say the thing that you struggled with the most because you took it the first time when you were senior in 2016 and you didn't pass and then you took it again during that journey what did you struggle with the most um well like the 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 tests in in college, I just felt like I'm, I'm doing everything I could to pass that test, you know, study for a whole week or two for that one test. And then the idea that you're going to take a test that has all your tests wrapped into one five and a half hour test is, was pretty overwhelming. And there was, you know, topics that I didn't even take a class on. And so <laughs> it just adds to your stress and your, your worry and your, your confidence, you don't think that you can actually do it some, at times, you know. I, there was a time when after I graduated, I really didn't think I could. Okay. So uh, so what made you to, like, when you had those bad days where you wanted to give up, what made you want to keep going and not giving up and keep studying? If you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're, you're right. So mm. just kind of convince yourself that if you can do it, if you believe you can do it, then you can do it. And so little by little, um, you start making the baby steps of going back to learning. 
Okay, uh, let's talk a little bit about time management. So something that a lot of students really question when they start preparing for the FE is like how many months are they going to be spending studying for this? When you started first studying for the FE, did you know like the time frame? Did you know exactly how long was it going to take you? Did you schedule the exam or did you start studying first and then you were like, okay, you just adjusted your schedule as you were preparing for the test? Uh, when I first started you know, committing myself that, yes, I'm going to just take it. I figured it, it was going to take six months. I'm like, okay, six months, focus on it for six months. And then mm. another six months, focus on the PE. Then once I, you know, realized, saw, saw your course was expanding to the afternoon. I'm like, oh, I think I need your course for both morning and afternoon. I don't want to just buy the morning and then have to study on my own for the afternoon and not really know which, what stuff to, to study. So when you started rolling out videos and saying, you know, bundle it now and save, I'm like, okay, this is <laughs> the program I need. <laughs> um, so the videos, I mean, you, they're really well done and they're right on topic and uh, you just feel like you're not alone studying. So you can um, follow along learn the concepts, you give a little, you know, uh, background of the, like a lecture, and then you also do the videos for problems. And so um, after I did the morning, then I tried to schedule, I think I scheduled the test once I finished the morning session uh, of your course. So, and gave myself, I think overall it was four months when I started, when I bought your program to when I took the test. How many hours did you study a day and then also weekends? Yeah, so I, I tried to study every day and every weekend. Um, I didn't hit every, every day, um, but I, I hardly ever made miss two days in a row. So um, I would study in the morning. At the beginning, I'd, I'd study maybe an, uh, an hour in the morning and an hour at night, something like mm. that. Um, <clears throat> and then on the weekends, sometimes I do it on the weekends, um, maybe five days, one day, but not both days or something like that. Yeah. Now, so first you mentioned that you started looking up resources online and you found my free YouTube videos um, that goes over problems and stuff. And then you decided to purchase our course. What made you decide to invest? Because like you said, it's a lot of money. And so what made you decide to invest in our course? Because And also there's so many other courses, right? Like there's PPI and there's School of PE. Like what made you decide to pick our course? And what was that decision where you like, you know what, I, I, I want to invest in this course? Um, well, I, I just really like that your videos were we're clear and you explain it and you don't skip steps. Oftentimes you, you see these problems and these solutions and you're like, well, hang on now. You kind of skip steps here. Where did you get that conversion or, or well, not a conversion, but where'd you get that uh, formula or whatever. And it's just a little bit frustrating. And yeah. And then you spend all this time thinking and thinking and thinking and you don't get it. Right. <laughs> so, so when yeah. you get the, the steps out, um, and very clear, and then it just helps you go through the process on your own. When you faced in like a hard problem during the exam, did you, did you, how did you react? Were you more stressed because you're like, oh my god, I don't know this problem? Uh, did you spiral or did you just flag it and moved on and you stayed calm throughout the exam? Um, I was pretty calm. Um, when, when I had problems that were, I tried to go in order as much as I could. Um, so in the morning, I, I probably had about eight problems that I, I'm just like, well, I'll have to wait to the end to, to take, to make more or spend more time on those. And so I flagged them and moved on. Okay. Um, and then at the end of the test thinking, okay, I've got half hour go through it real quick, say, okay, which ones do I have the best likelihood or 
best chance of getting if I spent more time on and pick those ones and then, um, and then try to get to, you know, make the four choices down to, you know, 50, 50 chance. If you can, of course, you know, um, get your best shot of, of guessing. So, um, so yeah, there's probably like five questions that I needed to totally guess on in the morning. And then, um, in the afternoon, I, I think the afternoon was harder actually for me. Mm. Um, um, or maybe, maybe that I didn't have to guess on a, I remember afternoon, there was like eight questions that I had to totally guess on, or at least get my best guess on. And I think I did only a couple of questions in the morning that I totally guessed on, but yeah, uh, the strategy of going through it first round, getting all, getting all the questions that you know are right out of the, out of the way. And so that helps your confidence, definitely helps your confidence to keep going and then not wasting time on the hard ones that you don't know for sure is a good advice. So you took your PE in October. Uh, I yeah. want to ask how did it go? And then also did, you know, preparing for the FE, did it help you with your PE? Yes. Uh, it definitely helped. Um, so I, I did basically eight hours or eight months solid of studying for the FE and the PE. Right. And if I had broken it up even six months, it, it definitely would, would have required me to study more for the, for the PE. Mm -hmm. Um, so it went well. I, I didn't ace it, but <laughs> I, I walked out of the morning thinking, Oh, okay. I think, I think I, I did well over 70% on this. Um, I'm baking some banking, some questions for my afternoon. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, I tried to tally up a little bit, you know, with what I, I really felt confident in and, and my percentage was, you know, 65 or so. So I, I think I did well. Um, afternoon definitely was a little bit harder, uh, quite a bit harder, harder. And I, uh, they don't think that you're going to go in there seeing questions that you've seen before, um, uh, with the numbers changed or something like that, because it's not going to be like that. Um, Right. You're going to see questions that have similar concepts with a twist. <laughs> and, right. <laughs> and so you'll have to be creative. Awesome. Can you tell us a little bit about like the resources that you use? Because we do have a lot of our students that pass their FE. They're currently preparing for the PE or they want to take it next year. Uh, can you just tell us a little bit like what resources did you use and which resources you found helpful? Yeah, well, first off, when... I think the first thing you should do after you pass your FE and if you can take your PE, sign up for the PE right away. I wouldn't wait. Even if it's a couple months down the road, sign up right away. Don't wait that next six months um, to have to pay or take it again later and, and give yourself that experience to take the PE right away. Um, but as far as resources, um, I did look at other things. Um, you know, I could get another, PPI type course or a, all the other ones that, um, that are offered. Um, but I figured your course have about half the material. <laughs> it's like the afternoon session of the FE is almost like the morning session of the PE. Um, and so I'm like, well, maybe I can squeeze by without having to pay for another course. And awesome. Uh, do you have any words of wisdom that you would like to share with students who are currently trying to pass their FE exam? Um, yeah, the, the test gets a lot easier the more prepared you are for it. So spend the time now because when it's test time, you've only got a little bit of time to, to get it done. Um, know your strengths, but also know your weaknesses and believe in yourself because you can. Um, I mean, at the beginning of this year, I, I was really, you know, wondering, am I going to be able to do this? Am I really going to be able to get my FE? And a PE was like, I'm not, I'm not going to think about that until my FE is done. <laughs> so that was, uh, you know, that's my mindset. I'm just, I'm working, I'm a dad, I've got all these 
excuses, <laughs> all these time uh, constraints and commitments. Right. And, and now I got to add one more thing to it. And a really big thing. I mean, overall, it's like a part-time job to study really. Um, yeah. So I, 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 I don't think there was one week that I wasn't, that was less than 20 hours a week. So um, you got to put in your time and it will pay off. Believe in yourself and take notice of the little incremental progresses that you are making. So, and little by little that those increments will, will build up and you'll be ready for it. And, and just don't, don't get too worried about the test day because if your time and preparation is ready, then you'll be ready. So. Awesome. Th thank you, Dave, uh, for sharing all these uh, great insights with us. I really appreciate it. And um, congratulations again. I'm really happy for you. So Dave is a father, a homeowner, and an engineer, and he knew that taking and passing the FE and the PE were important to his career. Now, if you are on the FE journey and you're trying to pass your FE exam, you can do this as well, as long as you put in the work, the time, and the effort. And as Dave mentioned, make sure that you practice, because the more you practice, the more you're going to feel ready to ace this exam. So practice as many problems as you can and make sure that you study the material that will be on the test. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to get more videos like this. And also check out these two videos that I have right here, which will help you with your FE preparation. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you on the next video. A la prochaine. Oh, yeah.